Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. It's being recorded on the 15th, so you can say the 15th through the 22nd, right? Uh, yeah, something like that. Anyhow, what do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days? Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. We had two cards fall out. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So there's a deep personal strength and peace within you. Lion, time to act. It's time for you to take action. Some of you may also be dealing with a Leo. You may have a Leo that's taking action. Um, but there is some sort of deep personal strength within you that assures success. So it's time for you, I believe. I think that's for you, but we'll see. What do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, ooh, this card just came flying out. New love entering your life. So I'm not sure if they're, well, I mean, the card speaks for itself. Now, new love does, I mean, it could be a, a pet right? It could be a pet. It could be a child. It could be a new job that you love, but it could also be a person. All right. New love entering your life. Autumn. Something about autumn. I believe it's where I live. It's autumn right now. So it's harvest time by the looks of things or something that happened during a previous autumn may be coming to uh, back around to de be dealt with now. Oh, I believe it's harvest time though. That's what I think. I think it's harvest time. What do we have for cancer? It's time to take action. It's time, it's time, the time is ripe. The time is ripe, it's time. What do we have for cancer? It's picking time, it's harvest time. Knight of Swords. So that's, that's an approach. That's an advance, right? This is a sudden arrival. Could also be a sudden departure, but this is direct, direct communication, direct um, movement. This is something coming in. It's usually rushing. This is usually something charging in or rushing in um, very assertively, aggressively. Um, mm, let's get another card to go with that. Five of Pentacles reverse. That's the challenge. That's behind it. So there's been some sort of hardship. There's been some sort of neglect. There's been some sort of abandonment or ghosting. There's going to be some movement, okay? If you've been abandoned or you've been neglected or you've been ghosted or you've been... Uh, now, the Five of Pentacles can be victim mentality as well. If you've been a victim to your own circumstances, we are now going to have some movement. This is fast-paced, fast-forward thinking. Things moving very fast, moving away from a lack, okay? Moving away from lack, okay? If you have been in a state of lack, you are going to be moving out of that state of lack. Ace of Cups reversed below you. That's the basis. That's the focus. That's, that's the basis of this reading. Six of Pentacles in the past. Ten of Cups. Four of Wands in your future. Um, King of Pentacles, could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have King of Cups, Reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and that Knight of Swords. Um, five of Cups, Reversed. And Queen of Swords as the overall outcome. Now the Queen of Swords is think fast, new perspective. You're gonna have to be open-minded, okay? You're gonna be put in a uh, position where you have to make some sort of decision based on some sort of facts, based on some sort of truth. You may also be dealing with a woman that is making a decision. This may not be you. This is a woman that is very authentic, that is very truthful, that is very to the point. 
She doesn't care about feelings as much as she does the truth, okay? This is all about the truth, it's all about the facts, okay? So that somehow this woman is playing a part. She may be, you know, in a position of authority. She may be some sort of a pro professional that's making a judgment call or something like that. There is definitely a woman here, it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that is making a logical, intelligent decision, okay? She's going to be calling some shots or she's going to be saying something that is very, very authentic. It's going to affect your life in some way. <clears throat> Knight of Swords, direct, direct. Okay, this is risky because this is like right on the edge, right on the edge. You're going to be getting something that you deserve that's looking right at the Six of Pentacles, that Knight of Swords. I, somebody may be coming in. There's something that you're going to be getting exactly what you deserve. This is the end of lack. There's been some sort of lack of emotion here, the Ace of Cups, or emotional dishonesty. That's below you. That's the focus, right? That's what's going on right now. That's where you've been. Uh, emotional lack, maybe. Uh, not feeling loved, lack of, of love, lack of uh, emotional content. I feel like that's where you're at. You've been feeling sad, maybe even crying, maybe even overly emotional, having a hard time mastering your emotions because you haven't been getting reciprocation or you haven't been getting what you used to get. You know, there's been a lack of, of give and take here. And I think you've been wanting, right? You've been wanting more, but above that, you know, in the present is the Ten of Cups, which is, the, and we have a rainbow, which is the storm is over. This is a, this is a happiness. This is spiritual fulfillment. This is a happily ever after, right? So this is what's, um, I mean, you may be feeling, starting to feel better. I think that you've been in some sort of uh, situation where it's been stormy. It's probably been dark, but I think that things are probably starting to get better now. Um, <clears throat> And your future is the Four of Wands, which is commitment, gathering, get together, happiness, happy home. Uh, you may be focusing on your home, focusing on your partnership. You may be getting together with somebody. Maybe if you are single, you could be meeting somebody at a get together, okay? You're going to some sort of reunion or a party or whatever, or a festival, and you meet somebody. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Ten of Cups in the upright. That is a, that is like presently. I feel like you're in a you're in a pretty good space. Okay, I feel like you're in a good good place emotionally. I think that you haven't been okay. There's because the Ace of Cups is reversed. I feel like there's been sadness. There's been tears. Maybe even some you know lack of emotional content. Well, obviously that's what that is. That's emotional dishonesty as well. Emotions all over the place. I feel like you've been having a hard time. Obviously, it's been raining, which is crying. I see tears. I feel like you've been crying. This has been very uh, emotional. You've been in an emotional situation. But I feel like things are definitely going to be starting to get better. Um, your advice is to be stable, to ground yourself. And your advice position is the King of Pentacles, which could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be just dealing with somebody that is very down to earth, they're laid back, they're more focused on their money, they're focused on their job, they're focused on their security. This could be you as well. And maybe that's your advice, to ground yourself, to be responsible, to be realistic, to be practical. Focus on your security, focus on your stability, focus on um, what is real, what is practical, okay? Because I feel like I feel like you've been really in your emotions. The King of Cups reversed and the Ace of Cups reversed. This is ungrounded. You really need to ground yourself. You need to be practical. You need to be realistic. I feel like you've been letting your emotions get the best of you. You need to you need to uh, be logical. You may be on the edge of of doing something crazy. I just got to be honest with that Knight of Swords. That's like doing, it is. It's a, it almost feels like it's a dangerous situation. Let me show it to you. <coughs> Excuse me. You notice he's right on the edge, the edge of falling, you know? So I'm not sure what is going on here. I, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be going somewhere. They're going somewhere. Um... There's been some sort of lack or there's been some sort of uh, disadvantage here with the Five of Pentacles reversed, refusing to get help, seeing themselves as a victim, really in their emotions.
your outside influence is the king of cups reverse could be dealing with a pisces cancer scorpio that does or it doesn't have to be it could also be taurus virgo capricorn or libra gemini aquarius there is somebody here that does not have good intentions and, and if you are the cross watcher it could be your cancer okay definitely could be I mean, the King of Cups reverse is somebody that is emotionally withdrawn. They cannot master their emotions. Their emotions are all over the place. There could even be an emotional outburst ahead. With the Ace of Cups reverse and the Knight of Swords, we could, in the King of Cups reverse, we may have somebody that cannot control their emotions. They're feeling abandoned. They're feeling neglected, you know, and they're acting out of that anger, you know. Um, I think that you really need to stabilize. You need to be practical. You need to ground yourself. You need to think, okay? Make sure that you think before you do something crazy, okay? And that's, I don't know why I need to tell you that because I feel like there's, there's professional here. There could be a professional that gets involved if you do something that you will regret. Underneath it is the five of cups. <laughs> Underneath the queen of, queen of swords, the five of cups reverse. That is regrets, okay? So it is could be extreme regrets um king of cups reversed emotions all over the place secretive emotionally withdrawn um does not communicate freely withholds communication emotional withdrawal withdrawing emotions shutting down emotions we have somebody here that is shutting down their emotions. They're, it's almost like they're trying to punish somebody. They're trying to punish somebody. They're trying to hurt somebody. Um, and I feel like there's revenge here. And I don't even need any cards. I just feel it. I feel like there's a revenge. It's like, I'm going to teach you a lesson. And then it backfires. I feel like it backfires. Somebody is like doing something revengeful and it backfires. The law could get involved. I feel like the law could get in. There could be news of legalities here. It does. It feels like we got somebody here that's trying to take justice into their own hands. And it's going to backfire. And they're going to regret it. That's exactly what's going to happen too. So I don't know if it's you or somebody else that you're dealing with. This has to do with a commitment. It has to do with a home or something like that. I, your future, in your future, in the near future is the four of wands, which is happiness. It's contentment. And we have the ten of cups. So we do have happiness here. So there's some sort of happiness here. But you need to master your emotions. You need to focus on be stable, be solid, be secure. Okay, don't let your emotions get the best of you. I feel like you have something really good going on here. Really good. Somebody, if you're single, could be flying into your life. This is what you've been asking for. This is what you deserve. It can bring you a lot of happiness. Um, <laughs> you have to be open-minded, though. You do have to be open-minded. The overall outcome is the Queen of Swords. That is, think fast. You're gonna be, you're gonna need to make a decision, or you're gonna be put in a position that where things happen fast. This is fast. I feel like there's some neglect. There's some sort of abandonment. There could be an arrival here. Somebody's coming. Somebody could be coming to take something. I'm just being honest with that Six of Pentacles. That's about give and take. Could be a takeaway. Um, headed towards happiness. Headed towards a new home. Somebody may even, even be getting a new home. Or they're getting into a new relationship. They're getting into a new partnership. That makes them extremely happy. Or if you have been in a stormy situation, things could be definitely getting better. It's like this, the storm is over. It looks like the storm is over. Or the storm is ending. Um... Five of Cups reverse, leaving the past hurts behind, focusing on the future now, uh, letting bygones be got bygones, beginning to realize that there's a better option. There is regrets here, feeling ashamed. Somebody needs to leave the past behind. They need to focus on the future. They need to take a new approach. It's time to take a new approach, and a new approach is going to be taken. There's definitely some sort of neglect here. There's neglect. Somebody has been neglected. Maybe, and maybe it may be having to do with a child or a family member or parents and a, and a child or something like that. There's been some sort of neglect. I feel like there's some sort of truth that is going to come out with that Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords speaks the truth, whether it's you that is speaking the truth. I don't, I, I'm just being honest. I don't think it is. I think that you're in your emotions. I think this is going to make you emotional. I think there's a woman here that is going to be saying something or she's going to be challenging you. Okay, this is a woman that is very harsh. She's very, um, 
intelligent. Not that you're not. I'm just saying this this woman will is uh sharp, okay? She's very very sharp. She's different than you. She is different than you. She doesn't she's not about emotion. She don't cry, okay? The queen, the queen of, this is somebody that doesn't let tears cry. I mean, and I see that you've been crying, okay? There's tears here. This woman is uh, cutthroat, you know? There's somebody here that is, she's not about the feelings, right? She's not about, she doesn't care about the feelings. She's very unforgiving, okay? This is about the truth. It's about the facts, okay? She doesn't, she's not doing this because of the feelings. She's doing it because of the truth. Now, I see that you're acting on feelings. And that's typical for a cancer to act on. That's what you do. Okay? This woman does not act on her feelings. She acts on the truth. Okay? She's not in her emotions. Okay? She's going to be doing something based on some sort of facts. And I think it's going to, uh, it may shock you. Because the Knight of Swords could be a shock. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Five of Cups reverse, leaving the past behind, beginning to realize that they're the truth. Beginning to realize the truth right next to the Queen of Swords. Somebody's been not telling the truth. They've not been telling the truth. They've been trying to act in revenge, right? It's going to backfire. I know that it is. Five of Wands reverse. This is a competition. It is definitely a competition. Somebody is in the middle of a conflict, right? This is a conflict. They're, they're, this is like a full scale, scale battle. There's some sort of controversy here. Okay? There's a need to stop fighting. There's a need to stop competing. There's some sort of uh, games that have been played. We have somebody here that thrives on competition that has engaged themselves in some sort of power struggle. All right. This is the end of a conflict. A conflict is coming to an end. So there's going to be a commitment here. Somebody may be committing themselves to stop fighting. You know, I put it right next to the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a commitment. The Five of Wands reverse is the end of a battle. There's been some tension. There's been a lot of pettiness. There's been a lot of conflict. Um, there's been a lack of communication. There's been... Um, scattered emotions as well we have somebody's here and i think it's you because it's that the the five of wands is scattered and then the king of cups reverses emotions about a union about a commitment or about a partnership five of cups reversed a lot of regrets regrets for fighting regrets there's somebody's going to be having some regrets for causing conflict they're gonna get in trouble i don't know who this is but they're gonna get in trouble deep personal strength and peace that assures success i mean we have the ten of cups and we have the four of wands that is great happiness it really is the end of strife the end of struggle it's focusing on the future, seeing the truth. Maybe the Queen of Swords is you mastering your emotions and seeing the truth, realizing the truth. It's no long, it's about the facts, it's about the truth. Maybe you're realizing the truth about your happiness and you're making a judgment call. Does not involve fighting and competing, trying to prove something. You know, it's not. of cups that is happiness that is spiritual fulfillment right that's that's right now very happy very abundant you have so much going for you you really do but you've got to be you've got to focus you got to master your emotions and you need to focus on the future stop playing with a player stop playing games stop and i feel like you have been playing with a player and it's really caused you to get emotionally upset don't you need to ground yourself show this person who you are i mean the queen of swords nobody messes with the queen of swords because she's hard to deal with you know she speaks the truth she doesn't let people fuck with her emotions okay she doesn't she's she's like you know what i don't care 
I don't care. I'm not, I'm not going to give you my time. I'm not going to give you my energy, you know? I'm not going to cry over you. I'm not going to fight with you, you know? I don't have time for it. But I feel like you've really been trying to prove something really in your emotions and you need to control yourself. I feel like you need to control yourself or it's going to backfire. You got to also be honest with yourself. Be honest. Stop focusing on something in the past, that's the Five of Cups reverse. Focus on the future. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is action. This is take action. So there's action. We have a masculine here that is given to take action. You have to make a decision. You have to do the right thing. You have to act in a noble way. Cat's trying to climb the wall. Anyhow, it's not working out for her. Anyhow, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person may be taking action. I do believe we may even have a judge here. <laughs> we may have a judge that is making a judgment call. This is a per leader. This is a person that is in a position of authority that is, I feel like they're being given some information because it's right next to the Queen of Swords. They're, be, they're seeing the truth or they're be, being given some information that you know, helps them to make a wise decision. A decision is being made based on some sort of facts. This may affect your home. It may affect your living situation. There's some truth that is going to be revealed. It may, it's, I think it's, it may infect your, it may infect, it may uh, affect, effect your home. Okay, with the Four of Wands, that King of Wands is looking right at the Four of Wands. Or it may affect your, your commitment, okay? A decision is being made based on some truth. We got somebody here that sees something very clearly. They're also very intelligent, very, very intuitive. It's like they know, they know. They're, they know there's some sort of strife or they know there's some sort of struggle. They know it, they know it. He's looking right at that four of wands and then the five of wands reversed. They know that they have to make a decision because the queen of swords and the king of wands is both a decision. Doing the right thing, doing the noble thing. Somebody's going to be making a decision. They are. And it's going to, uh, it's looking right at that four of wands. Mm. Two of Swords, the painful, stressful decision, right? This is a choice. This is a difficult decision. This is this is like I don't know. There's been some sort of inability to see the truth. Somebody has been blocking their emotions. They've been refusing. They've been in denial. They've been in denial. about a commitment or about a foundation. There's, there's been some sort of ignorance here, ignoring the truth, ignoring it, or there's been some sort of delay. Somebody's been struggling. They've been struggling, but I feel like things are about to change. Somebody was in their emotions. They were torn in two different directions. They weren't sure what decision to make. Knight of Cups reversed. A Knight of Cups reversed is, could be unrequited love, could be the end of a relationship. You know, this is lo only lust. One night stands, lying, heartbreak. Um, there could be a womanizer here. We could have somebody here that is disloyal. This is, this is heartbroken. This is a withdrawn invitation. It is a cancellation. It's uh, a broken engagement um, may even have delusion here. Somebody's been delusional. Um, blocking the truth with that two of swords. Holding on to a relationship that with an individual that is a, probably a player. I mean, underneath it is the five of wands. Five of wands is a game. So who plays games? Players. 
okay so a relationship with somebody has been blocked by a relationship with a player thinking that it's a soulmate delusional oh my fucking god it's time to take action you need to wake up queen of swords delivers a wake-up call you got to be careful be careful of one night stands. Be careful of being used. Be careful of being neglected. Stop focusing on the past. Focus on your future. Be honest with yourself. Be truthful with yourself. You have another option here. You definitely have another option here. You do. But you have to be looking at things from a new perspective. You have to be open-minded. And you have to be willing to face your fears. And you can't act in a revengeful manner. Or it will backfire. I see backfire. I don't know why. I feel like backfiring is a big deal here. It's like somebody's acting in revenge and it's going to backfire and they're going to, I feel like there's a judge that's going to get involved. It's like a troublemaker. It's like, I'm going to cause trouble <laughs> and it come. you know, what goes around, you, you reap what you sow. Okay. So. Queen of Swords, some sort of truth is about to be revealed. You need to be open-minded. We do have a professional here. We have a professional here that is delivering some information, I don't know, to a, to a dictator or a boss or a ruler or a judge or something like that. There's been some sort of denial. There's a lack of emotional support. There's a lack of tender, loving care. There's a lack of love. Knight of Cups reversed, but there's ignoring it. The Two of Swords is right next to that Knight of Cups reversed. It's like in denial over the whole situation. This is uh, not a loving foundation. There's a lot of strife. There's a lot of players. There's a lot of games. <coughs> we do have a lot of players here playing a lot of games. Anyhow, I feel like this week, you're going to be given an opportunity to uh, do the right thing. Whatever that is. Be honest with yourself. You're also going to be receiving an offer from somebody that is very attractive. There's definitely some sort of attraction here. You need to focus on your future and not the past. It's time. It's time for you to receive what you deserve. But you got to stop ignoring. That two of swords is ignoring something. It's like you're holding on to a relationship from the past. Just stop. You there, There's an offer coming here from somebody that could make you happy. This is intense. It is very intense. It's an intense interaction. You're going to be interacting with somebody that you could potentially have a relationship with that could make you really happy. You are. But you keep looking back at the past. And it's almost like I got to fight. I got to compete. You know, I, I got to prove myself. There's some sort of ignorance here. Got to be honest. Two of Swords is ignorance. You deserve reciprocation. You deserve uh, to receive what you give. The past is behind you. Leave it behind you. It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to look forward. Stop blocking your own blessings because you have a blessing here. Good luck.